Hello viewers, welcome to Parrot Show. My name is Peter Oginan. Today we are taking you on a journey. The 16 years of PDP. Has PDP been a blessing to Nigeria and Nigerians? Have they made a difference? Or have they been the change they want to see in the society? What do we as a nation remember about PDP? Or are we as a people forgetting where we are coming from? Today we join some PDP elders and leaders as they relieve the 16 years experience of PDP and what their future plans are for the people of Nigeria. So ladies and gentlemen, please sit back, relax, and have an amazing time coming on this journey with us. I think in a situation like this, it is only fair that we examined where were we pre-1999. Where were we for the 16 years also that PDP was in government? And where are we now that PDP has left government? Nigerians can easily recall that as a result of suffocating military regimes in this country, we came into office in 1999 when the confidence of Nigerians in their country and even in themselves had weighed down. We came in at a time when nothing seems to be working. We came in at a time when Nigerians were checking out of this country because they felt nothing good could happen in this country. And so they are going like Andrews, they were checking out and going to look for greener pastures. The annulment of June 12th election and the excesses of Abacha's regime brought so much pains and anger that it threatened the survival of Nigeria as a country. Chief Obasanjo, who survived the tyranny of the Abacha regime, regrets the fact that his friends did not leave to share their experiences. I was released. Of course, not the man who put me in jail released me. Another man released me. And as soon as I was released, I found that whatever I left, my business, my farm, even the NGO, Africa Leadership Forum, that I established, they have to run to Ghana because uh, that was as bad as things were. But what exactly did the PDP meet on ground when it took the seat of power? PDP, as it was started from the scratch, as far as the economy was concerned, as far as infrastructure was concerned, as far as every other thing is concerned that relates or pertained to acts of governance in this country. What did we do? We said the situation cannot continue. So the first thing we did was to make Nigerians to begin to believe in themselves by creating an atmosphere that will deal with Nigerians fairly and squarely irrespective of your background, irrespective of your beliefs, irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of your creed, irrespective of your religion. 